you know, what's really interesting is that heart disease starts when you're really young. Like I'm talking seven years old. It's incredible. They have found lesions in the aorta in virtually 100% of children between the ages of seven and nine. So I wanted to do this video to increase your awareness on how early this condition actually starts. And also to understand the cascade effect uh, from very, very early stages into later stages, because you don't want to wait until you have heart attack symptoms. You want to understand the mechanism. You don't want to wait till you have calcium building up in the artery or some type of clot to then make a change in your life. There's a test, a very important test. I highly recommend everyone get it. It's called a CAC test. It stands for coronary artery calcification test. And uh, it doesn't take that long. It's not very expensive, but it measures calcium in your arteries. And it's one of the best predictors of mortality. So definitely get that test. And I'll put a link down below for more information, uh, also on a video uh, showing my test results. But you want the results to be zero. You don't want any calcium in your arteries because uh, that already tells us that you had inflammation, you had oxidative stress, you had breakdown of the smooth muscle, and that's been going on a long time. So let's talk about the cascade of effect and what happens first, second, third, and fourth. The very start of heart disease starts with something called oxidative stress. And this is a situation where you have an imbalance of too much oxidation versus not enough antioxidants to protect you from the oxidation. If that occurs, if it's out of balance, you have oxidative stress. And what oxidative stress does, it's very similar to uh, rusting out your car. You're starting to get a breakdown in the surface. And that's what happens in the smooth muscle either on the inner part of the artery or the next layer deep. It's called necrosis. Okay, you're getting a breakdown of those cells caused by oxidation. Then the body uh, starts turning on all its different uh, wound healing mechanisms and you get inflammation and you get the immune system coming in with macrophages, start cleaning up the damage. And as part of the Band-Aid, you get microcalcification, tiny amounts of calcium that are coming in there to act as a kind of a band-aid. So the cell walls get thicker, you start getting more calcification, you get more fibrosis, that's uh, the protein that lays down with cholesterol, and that's what makes up plaque. So plaque is basically a band-aid. So the most important thing to know of this cascade effect is about oxidation and what really causes oxidation. Higher levels of glucose in the blood is probably the, the, the number one cause of oxidation. So you must reduce the amount of carbohydrates in your body. Okay, that's number one. And also the omega-6 fatty acids, very inflammatory. There's been a big push in the last 20, 30 years to replace the saturated fats with unsaturated fats. Uh, unfortunately, that led to a lot more omega-6 fatty acids, which creates a lot of oxidation inside our arteries, inside our organs, and the eye. So number one, as a preventative thing, you want to cut those out of your diet. Number two, you want to start increasing your antioxidants. Where do those come from? Well, plant foods, cruciferous, other healthy foods, but your own body makes antioxidants. It has networks of antioxidants and it needs certain trace minerals to make these antioxidants like selenium and zinc and so on and so forth. The most important vitamin for the inside of your arteries as an antioxidant is vitamin E. If you have any weakness or a history of having a lot of uh, oxidative foods, you should probably start taking vitamin E in the form of tocotrienols. And it works like 50 times stronger than tocopherols, and it can go into your arteries and start to really protect you. The next thing to focus on is fasting. Fasting helps to heal the inside of the arteries, and it can also help build up the natural uh, antioxidant networks of the body. So fasting is one of the best things you can do to help uh, reverse heart disease. And there's another thing you can get, uh, order on, on Amazon or some other place. It's called EDTA. This is a chelator and it helps to pull out uh, excess calcium from the arteries. Uh, I did a video on this, very, very powerful. There's a certain method or way that you would take it because it's gonna pull out other minerals. You'd wanna put back the minerals that you want and allow this product to take out the minerals that you don't want but it's a great chelator, it's great for circulation and many other things. Number five, having enough potassium in the diet. Um, very, very important because if you're low on potassium, which many people are because they don't eat a lot of salad, your body will start to um, pull in more calcium deposits, okay? 
I did a whole video on that. I'll put a link down below. But potassium will keep your arteries very elastic, uh, very flexible, and they can prevent the buildup of calcium in your arteries. And lastly, vitamin K2. Now this is rare, but it can happen where people can start building up not just calcium in the arteries, but actual bone in the arteries. And that's because they're missing vitamin K2. Vitamin K2 keeps the calcium in your bone and it keeps the calcium and the calcium formation from occurring in your arteries. All right, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video. Hey, before you go, if you're benefiting from any of my content, I would love to hear about your success story. Please share it in the link down below.